previously on the Inges channel. Get to it. Freaking airplane or something. It looks like the bumper was never even damaged. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something super, super exciting. Well, at least for me. I don't know if it is for you, but we're gonna get a new exhaust on this thing, hopefully. So let me give you guys a cold start before we actually head out. So last video you guys saw, I finished this thing up 100% completely. The bumper repair absolutely blew my mind that it looks stock. I mean, I did not expect it to turn out this well. And I've been driving this thing. I finally got it played and everything. Been driving this thing for like the last I don't know, maybe three days or something. And I definitely want to hear the V8. It's it's a super nice engine, and I feel like I, I would love to hear it. But first, we'll do definitely some 060 runs. We'll do a cold start right now, and I'll take it out to the country, and we'll have some fun. Let's do it. We just made it out here. This is my old road I used to live on and it's middle of nowhere private road. And uh, so let's give you guys some exhaust notes and, and all that good stuff. This is a stock exhaust system. Close, but not quite. All right, well, strangely enough, the P1 Pro was the one to fit. We are headed over to the muffler shop. And by we, I do mean me and Young Swag. She's actually following me in the Camaro. In the event that they can take it today, uh, I'm very excited, I'm very excited. I definitely wanna hear this car a little bit more. We still need to drag race these things. <laughs> uh, I already know the Camaro's gonna win. All right, boys, we are here. Let's see what they say. I have not seen underneath the car yet. Just briefly kind of stuck a camera underneath there, but it actually looks really nice under here so far. <laughs> I'm just hoping for no like glaring oil leaks or anything. But so what I'm hoping to do today is leave the resonators. There's some stock resonators there and then it goes back to dual mufflers in the back, just like this. I'm hoping to switch these out for some higher flow mufflers. We did the same thing on the Camaro and uh, I think that's the perfect sound. Maybe they'll let me hear it when they just cut the mufflers out. Maybe they'll let me hear it, maybe they won't, but I'm planning just to do some higher flow mufflers, just give that deep growl, but not too obnoxious. All right, this is straight piped, boys. He just got the mufflers off. Yeah, it's not even that loud. I went ahead and just said, put some pipe in there. Don't even worry about the mufflers. It actually sounds pretty good without them. So that's what we'll do. Hopefully I'm happy with it. Hopefully it's a good decision, but we'll see. They say the best exhaust is one you never have to hear. I respectfully disagree. I prefer the exhaust you only need to hear once. That's how dad did it. That's how America does it and it's worked out pretty well so far. Find an excuse to fire up this bad boy, and I personally guarantee you, the Honda Civic fanboys will disappear. I humbly present to you the Mercedes SL 550 with a muffler delete. I reviewed the footage from last night and it was incredibly windy, but the exhaust on this thing does sound amazing and I could not be more happy with it. It's subtle. You don't even hear it when you're cruising, but when you step on the gas to any degree. Right now, I am going to ceramic coat this car. But I mean, for being 12 to 13 years old already, like this paint has held up amazingly well. 
there, I mean, clearly somebody took care of this car for years. And this car just looks amazing, but I definitely want to preserve that. So I'm going to ceramic coat it today and the ceramic coat will restore the black little trim pieces that have turned gray over time with the sun. And uh, I think the ceramic coat is going to make this car absolutely pop. So let's get to it. This thing cleaned up super well. I mean, the paint underneath the dust was just beautiful. I mean, the paint looks great. But of course, a 12 year old car with 100,000 miles on it, there are a couple rock chips in front. Nothing you can see just if you're just looking at it. But if you get up really, really close, there's just a couple little pinholes. The only real paint correction stuff I have to do is in the back. Um, I think that whoever owned this car last um, there was actually no reverse camera installed on the car from stock from the factory So I think what they did is when they tinted the windows or the windows were tinted and they came and they They backed up they actually hit something at night probably that's my suspicion And then they were going to install a reverse camera, but then they just sold it off to the insurance But there is some paint correction to do here There's a pretty good chip here and then where somebody probably hit a pole or rear-ended something um, there are some cracks here as well, and then I just found as well There's a little bit of a deeper one here, but luckily it's like underneath the car if you're looking at it So uh, but I'll fill that nonetheless, but that's pretty much it man The paint overall looks amazing on the car and to ceramic coat this bad boy today I'm gonna use this off Amazon. It's a 10 H ceramic coating uh, This one wasn't the cheapest of the cheap. It was only like $30, but it wasn't the you know $15 one you could buy. So this was a technically a little bit better than the cheapest one on Amazon. And I actually used it already to ceramic coat this little section here um, a few days after I put the paint on. And so far it's working great. I was uh, I was watering down the car and it was beating up right where I right where I put this ceramic coat. So I think I'm just gonna use this one, just go over the entire car and call it good. There is a link if you guys want to check this out. If it turns out super well, there's a link for this in the description. So there it is, check it out boys. Fully ceramic coated SL550. And man, this thing not only sounds great, it also looks great now, and I could not be happier with how it turned out. I'm still pinching myself that this is my car, and I know it's not like a brand new model of like the top of the line stuff, but man, this is such a nice car, and in my opinion, one of the best looking with the classic kind of style stance Mercedes. I just couldn't be happier about it. So next video, you guys are gonna see how much this thing actually costs. All in budget, what it costs me to actually build this thing from the lot to where it sits now. So stay tuned, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.